Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. Can you tell what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna talk more about these splattered papers in a minute, but let's say hi and hugs first to Robin, Heidi, Brenda, and Ruth. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so splatter papers. I have been asked to do digitals of splatter papers. And um, so I've been kind of kind of experimenting a little bit. And this, this one, I, let's see, would be this way. I printed this on coffee dyed paper. Really happy with how that came out. This is matte photo paper. Isn't it crazy the difference? You know, how much lighter and such. And then this is copy paper. And I like them all for different reasons. So what I wanted to do today is experiment with some different papers and see what we could come up with. So I've got all my stuff and junk out. And let's just get started. So let's, let's uh, ease into this with a yellow piece of paper and then I can just kind of remember what it is I'm doing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to splatter some distressed oxide on. So let's do a little twisted citron and I'm just putting my distress oxide right onto a acrylic block and then we're just going to kind of splatter that around. Maybe a little more. It always really goes when you get it on the water. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I've been so looking forward. I've wanted to have a, another session and you guys gave me a good reason to do it. Okay, then I'm going to grab a baby wipe and as you know this can make some kind of fun baby wipes so um got a little got a little twisted citron on there um speaking of baby wipes i cleaned out my box and redid but look at all this yummy grunginess on the paper towel so i'm going to be pulling that apart too <laughs> weights not want not you know Let's see, so let's use some crackling campfire. See what that'll do. So yeah, I have all these different papers out and I just thought I'm gonna have myself a big old session of splatter papers. So um, yeah, I, I was smart and put down my um, shower curtain this time which I did not do last time and I got a little got a little paint on the carpet oopsie let's see um, I'm gonna do some vintage photo I want to darken it up a little bit Do I have much vintage photo in there? I probably need to re-ink it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, I didn't start off right. I should have wet my paper. So there's that. Okay, that's wet. I forgot my coffee, which is kind of the first step. But, you know doesn't matter when you do it really okay now I feel like I'm in stride a little bit better sheesh so yeah so first you should wet the whole whole paper and then splatter on your coffee and spots and then do your distress oxides I was excited to get to color wasn't I okay so set that over now, let's see if we can get a little more vintage photo. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. 
Yeah. Need a little bit up here. Okay. Alrighty, so there's that. I think I'm gonna use a different baby wipe for the browns so that those pretty colors can stay on one. I can put browns on another baby wipe. Okay. I think that's fine for that. Now, I think what I'll do is maybe add a little bit of alcohol inks. See what happens. Ugh, gosh. It's a tough one. And I do have my gloves in a bottle on so that theoretically I won't get all inky. That's theoretically. Okay, liking that. Now I did bring over, I brought over, excuse my reach, um, Crackling Campfire Distress Oxide Reinker. And I was kind of thinking, let's try it, you know, why not? It's so crazy how quick the alcohol dries as opposed to the, uh, you know, distress oxide with water. Let's just see. Yeah, it's too thick. Just hit that with some water. Ooh, but that's cool. <laughs> okay, I might not be putting this away. Just a drop, and then, oh, that's fun. Just decide where we want it. Ooh, that's really cool. It's kind of running based on where the kind of where the paper is in the box, how it's how it's sitting. I'm gonna put some right here. Maybe that's enough. Okay, cool. All right, so then now I am going to grab my, this is tea colored Heidi Swap Color Shine, it's called, and it does, does have a shine to it. Um, I do think I'm gonna mop up right here's turning pretty muddy. So I'm just going to mop that up a little bit. Okay. Let's see what happens with. Okay. Liking all of that. Okay. Now I think I want this to dry before I put any white and black um, speckles on it. So can I get this up and get it over to my shower curtain? Let's do it. Oh gosh, that turned out cool. I'm excited about that. Okay, let's do a whole, let's go a whole nother direction for this one. We've got blue. And this is just um, a paper that I dyed with Easter egg coloring. Okay, so we'll do this in the right order this time. Spray it with water. Put the coffee on. So my husband's out raking this morning and I'm just down here making a mess. <laughs> it's just so fun. So keep the good thought that Alfie stays upstairs. <laughs> Cause if he hits the, if he hits the old uh, shower curtain, we're in big trouble. 
Oh gosh, his little fur will be all sorts of colors. Okay, so different sort of vibe here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pink. Let's see what Kitsch Flamingo does. I don't know. It might be too light. I don't know. We'll see. See what we get. Ooh, different. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, I like that. Let's see, we'll use the use the pretty baby wipe for this one. See how pretty our baby wipes getting? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now what? It's different going on now. What's kind of interesting is in spots the. Uh, the egg color is blotching. So we say yay to that. Let's see. Um just kind of looking at my options here. I wonder if some picked raspberry. Let's try that. Ooh, that's a juicy pad. Might not be all that different, but maybe it's different enough. Try and hit some spots where I didn't get any before. Okay. Yeah, that's not all that different. So we'll just do that one time. And then I guess maybe what we'll do is go for some some of the browns. I'm thinking about thinking about rusty hinge on this one. Hmm, I think so. Let's try it. Oh, again, it's very juicy. So, what my thought was was kind of to pick the best of these to make into digitals. Since you asked, <laughs> your wish is my command. I might get off there. There we go, I got some there. Okay, and then what else? I feel like there's still quite a bit on there. Um, yeah, and I also brought some scraps over to play with as well because I figured why not? Once you have out, out all the mesh, you might as well really go for it, huh? Um, I wonder what some frayed burlap would do. Should we see? Don't know till you try. It's all just a surprise on this, on this stuff. Okay. All righty. So now. I'm thinking I want to kind of dry that up a little bit. You know what? Hold the phone. Why 
not pick up with something that we can we can use too. See, I'm not loving that. It's too muddy. Too wet. Got it too wet. Maybe the coffee dyes enough in terms of wetness, you know? I'm gonna grab one of my scraps here. Okay. Okay, so maybe a little more drying on that. Just use this envelope. And then I think I'm gonna go back in with the pink. Yeah, I think maybe the coffee might be, I don't know, I don't know guys. It's all an experiment, at least for this kid. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I'm gonna use, let's use the raspberry, picked raspberry. It seemed like it was a little bit darker pink. If nothing else, that first spit gave us another layer, you know? Okay, so there's that. Then I think I'm gonna go with some alcohol ink. Um, let's see, I think down here at the bottom, I'll get out my most used ones here, kind of. And I think I have a, yeah, I have a salmon, but I don't know if it's going to be dark enough to show. Terracotta, mm, no. There's the copper. I'm trying to look for things that will go with this paper. This is stream, and it might be dark enough to make a difference. Denim and pesto. Okay, let's just get them all out here. Okay. I don't know if this is going to show up at all. Nope. This is a funky one, the salmon. I don't know, I guess you'd have to go straight on to white. Okay, let's just jump in with stream and see what we get. Okay, I felt like it needed a bit of darker. Okay. Okay. And what was this one? Copper, yeah, let's try that. Oh, I think I need to shake it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, it's very different. I'm liking this one just because it's different. Um, let's use some of the tea on it and then we'll set it aside to dry. Oh gosh, I forgot to look at my time. Totally, shoot. Okay, well, I'm really liking this. This is good. I don't know, we'll just go till we go, I guess. It takes me three days to upload the video, so be it. Okay. Oh man, those are looking fun. I forgot my drawer was open, ran right into it. How about these two? Woo, fun. Alrighty then. Um, just for something different, let's do this one. And I think we're going to go with a darker green on that. 
like what? Um, maybe this Lucky Clover. Like, uh, I don't know. Let's just jump in and see what happens. This is Lucky Clover. Oh, coffee. Gail, get too excited. So I wish I had a finer spray. I'm just going to give that a tiny bit of water. Just have a ton of papers over here to do. I just, I just wanted to try so many different things. Oh, I totally forgot to look at my clock. Oopsie. Well, you know, watch as much as you want, <laughs> which is really all the case. There's always the old, uh, you know, get out of town button or fast forward or whatever. You, weren't, you won't hurt my feel bads. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, now back to our lucky clover. Gosh, that's fun. I think that's enough though. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. You know what? I should be using a a tag or an envelope or something to wipe off that extra. I kind of forgot about that. So we'll do that. Um, okay, so we need a little, we need a little brown on this. I'm gonna try um, walnut stain, do a little walnut stain. just to use this piece of little piece of yeah that's doing some fun things <laughs> sometimes what you wipe off is is a treasure isn't it okay so there's that let's think about Caramel. My caramel's almost gone. I need to... I have used my alcohol inks a lot. I feel like I'm getting to the point where I need to replenish. Let's see the caramel. Ugh. So after today, we've got a couple busy days around here. We have to take Alfie back tomorrow. And then... Um, our granddaughter in Missoula has a track meet that we're going to. It's really weird. They're doing them during the day. And so, like, parents can't come. Is that, I don't know. That's weird to me. Um, okay. And then our little tea spray. Okay, so um, do you think I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of this extra water off of there? Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's tough because if you smash it, it just kind of goes bleh. You know, so we're going to set this aside to dry. Yeah, 
Yeah, they all look very different, which is what I was hoping for. So the other thing I wanted to try was I wanted to try some music. So let's do that just for something different. I have some other colors there to try, but I had a couple of other things I wanted to try like this. I have some old dictionary page. I have one of my coffee dye digitals that I printed on matte photo paper, and I want to see what, if anything, it does. I mean, ideally, maybe you'd put the coffee on, dry it, then put the um, distress ink on, dry it, but because I don't edit videos, that's a little tough for me to do. Okay, I'm gonna just soak up a little there, and a little there. Okay, we can do whatever colors we want on this one. Um, let's do, let's do some green here. I'm gonna do, this again is the Lucky Clover. You know, it's kind of a double-edged sword because it does, the the blending sometimes is kind of cool too, you know, when wet hits wet. But then other times, it's like, makes mud. Let's just finish thought, Gail. <laughs> really concentrating. Really concentrating on getting the old Lucky Clover on there. Oh, boy. Okay. And then I think I want some crackling campfire. Okay, um, I want a teeny bit right there. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, that's kind of turning out sort of watercolory and cool, isn't it? Um, how about let's. We haven't done any um, wild honey. Let's do some of that on this one. I don't know how much this will show up. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. It does. And then we'll get some brown in there. Just, just flung it on my sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's put, some, put this on there again. Okay. So now, what do we want to do? Um, I think I'm going to grab something. Make another envelope. Sort of. Wow, look at that. Got a dip right there where it's all just sitting. Okay, well, we'll have to get something going right there. You know, I don't mind having spots in some places and then that. I mean, you know, 
there's there's something to be said for that too okay so what's next um how about some willow let's try this oh man that one's stuck let me try using my sweatshirt <laughs> Ah, oh, got it. Wow. Wow, Willow, you were stuck. Ooh, I like it. It's kind of brown. Okay. Um, how about a, what is this? Oh, that's the copper. Ah, man, pesto's really stuck too. I should probably uh, wipe these all off after a session. I really want the pesto. <laughs> Let me get the lid off. Sorry, guys. Oh, got it. Using my muscles today. See how pretty that is? Okay. Um, and then I kind of want to see what happens if I drop a little of this distress oxide into these puddles. Ooh. Just putting it where there's a puddle. Kind of a puddle, small puddle. Okay, well, that was fun. Okay, let's put a little of this on. I do like how this spray kind of just brings it all together. And then the splatters well too. Okay. So I'm going to go lay this down, and I'm going to go get the one that, ah, did you see what just happened? I don't know. Is that cool or not? We'll see. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of juice. A lot of juice on that one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a paper towel. Hang on. Oh, Gail, what'd you do? What'd you do? Ooh, cool paper towel. Okay, now I think I can move it without a catastrophe. Okay, and then I'll get the, get the one that's fairly dry. See if there's a couple maybe. I think the first two are dry enough to do next steps on. Okay. Alrighty then, let's do some white. Now, I do have this Dilutions White Linen Ink Spray, and I was kind of wondering if that would be similar to doing watered down acrylic. So let's just see what it does, if anything. Well, it doesn't come out. <laughs> it's old. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's kind of neat. 
There's not a lot in there. Ah! <laughs> it's going downhill fast, people. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah! As she drips it on there. Goodness. It's all right. We're going to say it's all right. Well, and then the thing is, is I have no idea how these will scan. So there's that too. So, you know, I, I'll make digitals if they're digital worthy. How's that? Okay, now I'm going to take, look at this. I got a new, it's a splatter brush from Tim Holtz. Never tried it. And I think you just go like this. So we'll see how that works. I think you can make your own with spaghetti. Um, except it'd be probably too, <laughs> a little too brittle. Okay, I'm just gonna use a pan here. I'll just bring it over. If I can get my paint open. And I'm gonna put some black on there. And then Maybe I'll use this one. I'm running out of water in my other one. Add some water to that. Mix it around. Okay. See how this works, Timmy? Ooh, works well. And you don't get yourself as inky, I don't think. And maybe I won't get as much on my floor. Maybe. I brought my fan brush over just in case, but I do really like this. Ooh. I want to get some here. I'm not quite sure where to aim it. This is the first time I've used it, as you saw. I just got it out of the package. So, don't count it, this as a Tim Holtz bladder brush tutorial. Nope. <laughs> but I do like it. It's kind of fun. Okay. So there's the yellow one. I'm going to set it over here to dry, being careful not to run that white too much. Ooh, that's really pretty though. When I put it down there and look away from it, it's really pretty. Okay, then there's this one. I figure I might as well use this till it's gone. Do like it it seems like it you know sets up nicely on it and it's not and it's very white okay so if I continue on to this um, the next video that I do that I can show you, I will. Or you'll see it, you'll see them in my shop as digitals if if I deem them worthy. <laughs> okay, really like that. That looks really cool. Okay. Back to the Oops, oops, I bent that one. Am I too vigorous in my splattering? Excuse me. <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me. 
Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm really kind of loving this one. Just a little in the corner there. Oops. And a little in the corner here. Okay. Cool. Well, there's those two. And we'll see if the third one is dry enough. Actually, it looks like these two might be too. So, let's see. Let me sit right there for a minute. Okay, let's do these two, and then we'll be done, and I'll do the others on my own. I'll show you what else I have to do. But, um... Might have to go for my acrylic paint. This is literally just about out. This was one of the ones I was going to do. Holy moly. I'm going to try and sop some of that up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> oh, so I cut <laughs> oh I tell you <laughs> oh well I don't know it's kind of interesting lost it. <laughs> okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> oh gosh. It's what my son calls the wheeze. <laughs> on that. See if we can kind of make it spotty again. <laughs> oh, man. I got tears rolling down. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. These dry fast, so that's a good thing. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Oh, well, I can. I can believe it. Oh, I got it on my desk. I just made a mess. Okay. Pulling ourselves together. Oh, there's still some paint in there. <laughs> Resuming where we were. <laughs> oh... Okay, well, those people that left and didn't make it to the end, they're going to miss that. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be devastated. Oh, gosh. 
Let's see, I just want a little bit right there, but I don't want the whole bottle. Okay, let's just call that good. <sighs> okay, back to the splatters with Timmy. The good news is doing this, you're not going to get a whole bottle on there. You know how I was saying that bottle's running out? It's running out even more now. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of liking how, <laughs> what that did, actually. You know, as they say, happy accidents. Okay. Gosh. Giving this brush a workout here. Okay, well... Crisis averted, and it didn't turn out too bad. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Yikes. Oh, it does look kind of cool. Okay, so now this one is our last one. Oh, gosh, look at this. I got, got the paint actually bubbling there. What do I have to wipe it off with? Let's just lay this on there. Okay. Well, that one's going to have an interesting something to it, too. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I doing the white? Is that what I'm doing? Oy vey. Okay. What did I do? Did I tip the, did I tip the bottle? I guess that's what I did. I think I've told you before, our little Addie Mae, when she was a baby, you know, just two or something, something would happen and she'd say, what I do, what I do. Oh, gosh, what I do. Okay, well, I'm not sure, but I think that's the first time the wheeze has come out on a video. <laughs> oh, my son gets me laughing, though, and it's, I think it's his goal to make me wheeze. Oh, I get that from my Aunt Lucille. <laughs> Bless her heart. Okay. So there's that. I need, I think, a little more black paint. And we'll, we'll just get her done here. Just a skosh more black paint, a little more water on it. Okay. I wanted to do that the other way. I got to do this. Ooh. Yes. getting messier too. I actually do have another hour that I can work on this. So I'll, I'll try and show you where I get to tomorrow. I need, I'm just going to keep going for a bit until lunchtime. Okay. So there is that one. So I'm going to call it a video guys. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for <laughs> putting up with your wacko friend and we will just have a, a more fun in the next video so have a grateful day everybody see you next time bye bye